Welcome to the MSJC Internet Authoring Videocast. In this video, you'll be learning how to complete Guided Practice 10B. Now, for Guided Practice 10B, I'm going to introduce you to the JPanel class. We didn't talk about this in the video lecture, so I thought it'd be best to introduce it here as one of your guided practices. So when you look at the code that I have here in this GB10B demo guided practice video, it should look familiar to you. As you can see that we've extended the class using a JFrame. We've set up the container, called it content, using this dot get content pane. And then from our last video, I just picked up the two buttons that we created there, the green button and the blue button. But I haven't added them to a container yet because what we want to show you, as I say, is the JPanel class. So the JPanel class is just a way of grouping content inside of a JFrame. If you think about forms that maybe you've seen online, if you think about maybe like an order form, there's a section where the user puts in their name and address information, and then there's another section that has all the different products that they want to purchase and the cost of those products and the quantity and, and those types of things. Are, those are usually grouped into two different sections. And so a JPanel can be used for that purpose, just basically grouping your contents, your components, into multiple sections within the JFrame. In order to create a new JPanel, it's just like all the other objects you've done before. We just use the class name JPanel as the type. We'll give it a name. I'll call this one panel buttons. And it'll be equal to a new J panel. Now that I have that J panel, I come down here into the constructor and we'll go ahead and take our panel buttons. And we'll use the set layout method to put in a new grid layout. And we'll make that one row by two columns and we'll give five pixel spacing between the items in each direction. Now we'll go ahead and add to that panel the two buttons that we created up above here. So that's button green. And button blue. Then I'll just go ahead and add that panel to our content pane. Let's go ahead and run it. And there we've got our two buttons. So the only difference in this particular guided practice from what you've done previously was that we created a panel, added it to the content, and then put the buttons inside of the panel instead of attaching or adding the buttons directly to the content. Now if we wanted to, we could go ahead and add another panel then. Call this panel labels. We'll add that into the content pane. But now what we want to do is we want to set these up using the border layout, which remember that is the default for your JFrame objects, your JFrame containers. And we'll put the buttons in the south. Put the labels panel in the north. Let's 
go ahead and run this. Now you can see our buttons are in the south. For your guided practice, I'd like you to make a couple of modifications. For the panel labels, J panel, I want you to just add a new grid layout to it. One row by three columns. And then I want you to create three J text fields and add the three J text fields into the panel labels panel. And that's all there is to it. And I will post the solution if you need help. Till next time, happy coding! If you like this video, please click the like button and leave us a comment down below. I also would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos are posted.